hello guys welcome to a new tutorial i hope you guys are doing good so in this video as the title suggests i'm going to show you how to create an easy hologram effect on davinci resolve so for those who don't know i'm fenzer i do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel so if you're into that sort of stuff please consider hitting the subscribe button so let's dive into davinci resolve to show you how it's done so these are the two videos that i have uh you have to do a good acting of scrolling and then i have a screen recording of a food delivery app right here so the very first thing that i have to do is adjust the timing of where i am doing the scrolling action then you come to open effects and search for transform and then just drag and drop it to the screen recording video then come down to image adjustment click this crop then press edge rounding uh, somewhere about there then I can zoom out a little bit and maybe change the position somewhere around here wherever I'm happy with we can add in the animations uh, towards the end the very first thing let's uh, make this look like a hologram so I think this is where the scrolling action takes place so let me just adjust it just play with it uh, make sure the timing is okay so once you do that come to fusion so i press shift plus spacebar and search for scan lines just press add and just change the line frequency to 13 around 13 it's like a it looks like a hologram once you do this and the next thing that I want to do is add in a glow uh, before that let me change the color of the scan lines to maybe like light blue press ok then the glow is too much you don't want that much so you can just uh, you know reduce the glow now let's come to the edit page and let's see how it is yes it's somewhat okay now next next thing what I want to do is I want to come and change the flip so that it looks like as if it's facing me now let me reduce the opacity uh, maybe I'll make it like 70 then right click new compound clip then I can play with the pitch and you know or the yaw so it, you get this nice uh, floating hologram effect let me zoom in a bit maybe change the position next thing what i want to do is come to open effects search for camera shake bring it here now i want to change a couple of things here this is too fast you don't want that much change the ptr speed to about 0 0.075 okay then I'll change the randomness scale to about uh, 0.2 I mean 0 0.02 or yeah that's fine so you have this nice floating effect of uh, screen now we can do the animations now for animation what you can do is you can do like keyframing this is the point that i want the the hologram display to appear so i'm going to mark a keyframe on zoom and also on position then come a little frame back where i'm doing the zoom in so i can just reduce the size about there yeah maybe about there so now if I play now you can see the zoom is very bad so for that all you have to do is come to the keyframe right click there is an option called ease in go to the first keyframe ease out so now it's a smooth zoom in you can also change the keyframe of the position so like this is the portion that it comes in frame so just before that you can just move it away again right click ease out and right click ease in 
So once you play with the keyframe and the animation, you'll have something like this. Now you can again add in further details. Now as you can see, it's a hologram that's coming near us. So obviously there will be a sort of a glow around us like a shadow. So for that, what I have to do is I'm going to right click this and make a new fusion clip. Now, first thing that I'll do is mark the point where I want the glow to affect the overall image and also the point where the glow is not supposed to take any effect. So in this case, this is the point that the hologram appears here. So I'll mark M, I'll press M on the keyboard. Then I'll go uh, this frame where it zooms in. So again, a little more glow will happen. Then I come where it disappears from the frame. Yeah, I think, yeah. There also I'll mark a point M. Now I'll come to Fusion page, open in Fusion page. Select this one, background, without selecting anything. Just join this from here to here. Now I'll change the color of the background to white. As you can see, the full image is white. I'm gonna fix this, just click on this polygon. Whichever area you draw, that background will act upon it. So I want this area to lit up. Now as you can see, it's completely white. So I'll adjust the soft edge right here. And in the merge, I will change the apply mode to screen. Um, maybe it's a bit too much, but you can change the blending like this. Yeah. I can add in one more polygon node. Uh, I also want this part of my face also to lit up. Same step. Increase the soft edge. About there is fine. Okay. Now, as you can see, the in the overall shot, this glow is happening. You don't want that, which is why we did the markers. So come to keyframe and you can see the marker points right here. I'll come to a point. Uh, this is the point where I'm zooming in. So I'll put a keyframe there. Okay. And this is the frame where it's not zoomed in, but it's a small. So you don't want that much of a glow. I'll reduce it a little bit and then just one, two, three three frames before I'll put it all the way to zero because nothing is there in the frame this is the frame this is the marker where it disappears completely uh, just select a few frames before press key press the keyframe and in the marker point this is the point where you want the blend to completely be zero so now you what you have is you have no glow then there is a slight glow then once you zoom in, there is a bigger glow and once the screen disappears, the glow also disappears. So by adding such minor details, you can really elevate your videos to the next level. Now I hope you guys learned something from this video. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what other tutorials you need in the comments. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.